Welcome back. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to fold the origami frog base, which I will also refer to as the base fold five. Um, you can see here is an unfolded origami base fold five, and you can see how the um, crease pattern looks like this. It has every other line being reversed. You can see that this one is a mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold, valley fold, and you can see how these triangles look different than say this inside triangle and you can see how the end piece here has a different valley fold mountain fold pattern as well when you're all done and it's all folded up your base fold five or frog base will look something like this it will have um, these four points one two three and four Okay. and it will have these little intermediate flaps here and it will have the top point that is all um, connected all right now the base fold 5 as you can see here by the origami T and the origami X is going to start with our preliminary base so once you have your origami square ready and prepared you'll have your diagonal line going from one corner to the other corner then take the corner with the line on it, the fold on it, and take the bottom edge and valley fold it up to the top corner to make the valley fold going from the other corner to the other corner. Now there is our origami X, you can see the two valley folds, and then I'm going to take my model and flip it over. Okay, by flipping it over then I'll take the bottom edge and valley fold it up to the top edge. This is going to give me a horizontal valley fold that goes directly through the center of my model. And then I'll take the right hand edge and fold it over to the left hand edge to create a valley fold going through the center of my model vertically. Okay, so now I have the origami T and the origami X. At this point, um, I'm going to rotate it so that my mountain folds here on my diagonals can come down to make my preliminary base. Okay, once at the preliminary base, the frog base is similar, a little bit different, but similar to the way that the um, bird base goes. You're going to need to do some petal folding, but first we're going to have to do a little squash folding here. We're going to take this corner. Now you're going to have two flaps. Here's one flap, two flaps on this side, and two flaps on these sides. Okay. For each flap, we're going to have to follow this procedure. We're going to take the flap, lift it straight up, and then we're going to take these, this pocket that's created inside of here. We're going to open this pocket up. Ensure that right down here where those two creases meet, you um, keep the center line right along the center. So hold that with your finger. Then, if you can, you can use your finger or your bone folder to separate these two flaps of paper. Then, you want this top crease to line right up with that center crease, like this. Okay, and as you do this, you're going to take this squash fold and use your bone folder to crease it, and your squash fold should look something like that. Now you're going to repeat this step three more times on the remaining three flaps. To do that, I'm going to take this little leftover flap here and flap it back to the right. And then I'm going to take the flap that's on the left on the top and bring it straight up. Open the flap up. Make sure that it stays right on the center line. And hold it in place with my index finger. Separate it and then squash fold it right along the center crease. Okay. Now, as you start doing this, you're going to have many multiple flaps on top of one another. Take this right flap and flap it back. Okay, now you'll have this piece, and if I have turned my model up, you'll see it has this kind of a zigzag pattern to it. We've done the top right and the top left flap. Now I'm going to flip my model over, and I have the what used to be the bottom two flaps. I'm going to do the same procedure. Take the right hand flap lift it straight up, separate it in the center, and squash fold it down the center line to create this triangular form. Okay, 
Now take the little extra flap here and flap it back to the right. Now take the last remaining left hand flap here, bring it straight up, separate it, and squash fold it down this direction. Okay, I'm gonna crease all of these with my bone folder just to make sure they're nice and solid. And I'm gonna take this top flap here and flap it back. Okay, now I've got this triangular kind of kite shape and if you look carefully I have the top flap here I have two flaps on the inside and then a bottom flap okay to create two of these points on each side I'm going to change it just a bit you can see how this top piece here has no line across the center I'm gonna take this top piece and flip it this direction now I've created two little points on this side and one little point on this side and then like a large flap on the base. If I f look at this base, I'm going to flip it over and take this side and flap it, oops, just one, over to the left side. So now, if you look at your model, you should have two points. One, two on this side and one, two on this side. So you've got a total of four flaps. Okay, now comes the preparation for the pedal folding. Your model should look like this in the sense that you have this one flap here that we're going to end up pedal folding. You're going to take the bottom, this edge here, and fold it into the center crease. So it should look something like that. Now you want to repeat that on the left hand edge here. Right along the center crease. Okay, once you have that completed, you're going to lift these open. But before we do that, I'm just going to show you what our end goal is. We are going to be valley folding right along this line here. We want to reverse that inside flap there up so that this point here is flipping upwards. That's going to create the little extra flap here on the top. Okay, so if I show you that now, I'm going to take this and just kind of guide it with my finger to those corners here and here. And once I've got it kind of flipped up, I'm going to take these flaps, turn them inside, and then readjust this corner as I pull it in, this corner and this corner, so they come right up along that center line. So that when you're done, it looks something like that. Now this is a pedal fold very similar to but not exactly like, similar to the bird base. That's why I leave this model for teaching after I've completed the bird base. Now, we're gonna take this, I'm gonna take this little flap and flap it back down. And take this little flap and flap the right side over to the left side. And you'll have some kind of shape that looks like this. And then flip this one over again. And we're back to this. Now you repeat that same step that we did to create this pedal fold you repeat it three more times, once on each of those remaining points. So I'm gonna fold this one inside, valley folding it, fold the left valley fold inside to the center crease. Open those two up and take this inside flap of paper and fold it, valley fold it up so these two outside creases can return to the center and I can slowly readjust this. Now as you readjust this frog base flap here, you might find that it is um, easier to do it kind of slowly because none of the other previous creases line up with that perfectly. So you might just have to, f to fuss with that. Now I'm gonna take this model and actually flip it over and you'll see on this side I've got the same kind of uh, set up. Okay, you're going to take the right hand side, fold in just the top flap of it towards the center, and 
this side in towards the center to create that same setup. Open those two flaps, lift up the top flap, re-slide those in, and then rework this top triangular area. Okay, and now you can see I've got this one remaining flap on the right. So I'm gonna take this top flap, flip it over, take this right one, flip it over, and again, you'll see this setup. Take my right hand side, fold it in so it matches. Take the left hand side, fold it in so it matches. Unflap them. Take this inside piece and fold it up so that I can reverse these two flaps back in and then gently recrease these pieces of paper to create that last flap. Flip that down and now you should have one two points or little legs on this side and one two points or little legs on that side. Now some models will have these inside flaps flapped down and some of them will be flapped up. Depends on the model from this point. But this is the basic um, how you would do the frog base. Okay and that's the traditional frog base. Now going off from there there are many different models that use that. Some flowers, some animals, some other things and of course you're always welcome to design your own base or your own model off of any of those bases. But this base is by far uh, the hardest one that is recognized as a traditional origami base. And that's how to fold the frog base or base number five.